United Nations considers anything longer than 15 days in solitary confinement to be torture. And in the United States, we know that there are people who are confined to these exact cells for much longer periods of time than that. The cell is nine feet by six feet and it has the bare minimum inside. A bed, a toilet and a sink, a light that is left on for 24 hours a day. The sound is actual recordings of inmates in the cell block. It's really opening a large dialogue and that's exactly what we were hoping to do. Me just being in that tight space, I felt uncomfortable. I felt like a caged animal, you know, people talking to me and outside, all around me. I didn't think it was going to be as bad as it actually was because you hear people screaming, you hear banging, you feel uncertain, you don't feel safe. I don't really think that anyone should go through this, no matter how bad their crimes may be. It raises questions on the treatment of people and what we as a society accept or what we justify. Torture is wrong. Torture is wrong on every level, no matter what crime you committed. As humans, we're social beings and we need to interact with each other to grow and develop. I think what Kane University did uh, in bringing this here was something that's great. And it's changed, I'm sure, myself and other students here's perspective on solitary confinement. Human rights are universal and the Human Rights Institute's mission is to promote that awareness and also make people really think about their own humanity.